No, sir. Why? Why not? Yes, sir. No. Uh, here, power, yes, power sir. in single phase is a circuit. Here, you have a load that is a, a resistive load or inductive load or capacitive load, no matter what. You have a voltage source called VT, and you uh, one current is going there, that is called IT. So, what is the instantaneous voltage equation? It will be this one. Vt is equal to Vm cos omega t plus theta, right? You know it already. Theta is the angle of V. That means the voltage angle. Then the current, the instantaneous current will be It is equal to Im cos omega t plus theta i. That means the angle of the current, right? If they are resistive, if the load is resistive, these two angle will be same, right? If this is resistive. So ho hopefully in power state uh, power system, not hopefully actually, uh, unfortunately in the power system, this is not resistive. It, you might have inductive component, you might have um, capacitive component and you might have mixed component, okay? Obviously you'll have mixed component. So what is the power? What is the power that is delivered to the load? Power will be VI, that means, okay, okay. PT is equal to VI. Vt it so Vt is equal to Vm cos omega t plus theta V Im it is equal to Im cos omega t plus theta i that means you have to multiply this one and this one if you multiply these two uh, according to the formula of trigonometry cos a cos b the formula becomes half cos a minus b plus half cos a plus b you already know it this is trigonometry right yes sir. so here we can write this like that. This is our cause A, this is our cause B. So if you go there and if you uh, put these here, your equation becomes like this. PT is equal to half VM IM. Why half? Because the half will be common. This half will be common, okay? Then you have cause A plus B, plus cos a plus a minus b right something like that so cos theta v minus theta i plus cos 2 omega t plus theta v plus theta i okay then you have half common outside so from here you can write like this uh, cos theta v minus theta i plus cos 2 omega t plus theta v minus theta v minus theta i this is basic uh, algebra you can write uh, then what do you have you have here you have a formula as well cos a minus b you have a formula cos 2 the oh no no yeah exactly the same thing okay here you can have a formula plus sign this this one this one will give you a formula what is that cos cos a plus b plus cos, cos a, a minus b this is cos A minus B, right? Yes, sir. Cos A minus B, right? So what are you are getting? You are getting like this. Cos A, cos, a minus B. cos B plus sine A sine B, right? Yes, this sir. is the formula. Cos A minus B is equal to what? cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So cos a, this is a, this is b. So cos a cos b sin a sin b. This is the formula of trigonometry. So here from there if we rewrite the formula you will have something like this vi cos theta 1 plus 2 cos omega t plus theta v vi sin theta sin 2 omega t plus theta v. That means you have a cos part, you have a sine part. So cos part is called PRT. That means that is the energy flow into the circuit. Sine part is called PXT. That is energy borrowed and returned to the returned by the circuit. That is called reactive power. That is reactive. This is the real. So if we go further, this is your PR. You can write. Since your um, average value of the sinusoidal function is zero. The average function of the sinusoidal is zero. So this part will become zero. So you have P is equal to VI cos theta. That is called 
real power or active power understood now let's again do the same thing with this one pxt px is this one since your um what is that since your sinusoidal part is zero the value average value is zero so the your this part will become will become what will become eliminated okay this not zero this will be eliminated then what happens you have q is equal to vi sin theta this is also called what reactive power okay so reactive real power p vi sin uh, vi cos theta reactive power q vi sin theta so you already know it now let's do a math a supply voltage in the figure figure means that one is vt 100 cos omega t that is the vt and the load is inductive with an impedance 1.25 angle 60 degree ohm inductive but it might have some um, might might have some resistive element to it so 1.25 angle 60 degree determine the expression for the instantaneous current we have to find out the instantaneous current called it and the instantaneous power pt use matlab to plot it vt pt pr px to obtain uh, to over an interval of 0 to 2 pi. That means we will see how to plot something in the MATLAB. So that's why I am doing this uh, example for you. So, so that you can learn how to use MATLAB to plot something. Okay, let's solve the problem first. This is your VT. So you have to find out the IT. So you already know I is equal to V by R, right? So in place of R, we have to write what? In place of R, we have to write Z now. Since, since it is instantaneous, so you, we have to use smaller i, that means it, smaller v, and Z. So here they have used the um, maximum value. You can do it or you can write something like this. So here you have 100 and angle is zero, right? Here the angle is zero. Can you see that? Do you have any angle here with, with no omega speed. t? So no it is 100, 100 is this one, and the angle is this one with omega t. So it is zero. And you have z, z is 1.25, and the angle is 60. So if you calculate using the calculator, what is your calculator? What is the calculator here? Here is the calculator. Go to the complex mode, you already know it. Yet I am doing it. 100 angle zero divided by 1.25 angle 60. Right. So this is the this is in uh, what polar. Uh, this is in rectangle form. I have to do it in polar form. So complex this one. We have to do it in polar form. That means three. So it's 80 angle minus 60. Right. This is your answer, 80 minus 60. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So what will be the equation now? Like this, what is the equation now? Minus 60. This is your IT, right? Yes, Smaller yes, IT. Sir. That means the instantaneous current equation. So you got it, right? This is pretty simple. This is from uh, semester two or semester three, maybe, right? Now, yes, uh, basic, 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 basic circuit. So these are the graph we have to see. We have to see today. This is the graph we have to see today. So your IT is this one. What is your PT? PT is equal to VT and IT. VT and IT, if you multiply, you will get something like this. This is, this is in what? This is in ampere. That one is in volt. Now, this is the MATLAB code we have to use, okay? We have to use. Got my point? This is the MATLAB code we have to use. Okay, let's do this, okay? Everyone? Let's do this, or you will do it in tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow, which one? 
do it today or do it tomorrow? Today. Today. Okay, to, okay, today. Let's let's try. Let's try today. Who did tomorrow, okay. sir? Or oh, who said tomorrow? Two of you said today. Okay. So this is the command window. Here we will write the command. So okay, let's make it smaller so that I can see. This is a MATLAB. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, now here, here at first, what are the things we have? I'm going to do the whole math. Here, what are the components you, ha you have? You have a amplitude, let's say V magnitude, right? You have a magnitude, right? What is the magnitude? How much is the magnitude? 100. 100. Okay. Okay, okay. By, by the way, one more thing. You have to give a semicolon, otherwise they will keep repeating. I'm going to clear the screen, CLC, that means clear. You have to give a semicolon, otherwise they will repeat. Now, you have a V angle, right? V theta. V theta is equal to what? How much is theta? What is the angle? Zero. 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 Zero, zero. Now you have Z. What is the Z? Z magnitude. Z has a magnitude. How much is the magnitude? 1.25. 1.25, right? Yes, sir. What is the angle? Sixty. That means theta actually. Theta is equal to 60. Right? Remember, they are all in degree, but MATLAB always calculate in radian. So you have to convert the degree to radian, something like that. A radian to degree, something like that. Okay, this is Z theta. Now we have to find out the I, right? Anything else that is given here? Anything else that is given? No, sir. Nothing is given, okay. So what we can do? We can actually follow our book or we can do in our way. Okay, let's follow the book. There, they have taken the V magnitude theta, Z magnitude theta. Um, okay, the current. Okay, theta I, theta. They have given a lot of things, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do like this. Okay, I'm going to do like this. The, see, I'm going to do like this. Um, I, since I is not given, I magnitude will be what? V magnitude divided by Z magnitude, right? So magnitude is okay. You understood? Yes. Sir. Magnitude is okay. Now the, uh, oh, by the way, one more thing you have to understand. That is, if you divide something like this, 100 angle zero degree and 1.25, angle 60 degree do you know what happens do you know what happens these two are divided yes, sir. these two are divided so it, it becomes 80 angle are subtracted so 0 minus 60 they are actually subtracted so you it become so minus 60 right so you know it already so here the angle should be what i theta will be what? V theta minus Z theta. Okay? Okay, everyone? Now, now we have to uh, see the uh, omega t and a lot of things. Sir, what you have given minus why you have given minus? This minus? Yes, sir. I just I just explain. If you yes, divide, sir. if you divide 100 angle zero degree and 1.25 angle 60 degree, these two are divided, and these two are subtracted. That's why I have given minus. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now remember, these are in degree. These are in degree. Okay. These are in 
degree, there's a in degree, but you have to convert them to radian. Otherwise, this will not work. Otherwise, otherwise what? They will not work. They will not work. So your V, that means a small V equal to what? What is the, what is the equation of a small V? V magnitude into, what is the formula here? Vm v theta cos v omega t plus zero degree, right? Yes, that was supposed to happen. So here Vm into cos into, that means in bracket, omega t plus zero, right? This was supposed to be yes, your thing. So cos, what? Bracket, omega t, what is omega? Oh, by the way, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't see omega, right? We didn't write omega. So at first we have to write the omega. Omega t, what is omega t? How much is omega t? <laughs> omega is from, omega t is equal to from zero to two pi, right? They have said, Draw the, draw the graph from 0 to 2 pi, right? So omega t is from what? From 0 to 2 pi. Understood? Omega t should be what? From 0 to 2 pi. So we have to write this as well. 0 to 2 pi. So omega t is 0 colon dot 0 0.5 that means this is the step this is the step that means 0 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.15 something like that this is how this will uh, propagate understood this is the minimum value after this value they will take another value after this value they will another take a value you can actually keep it is 0 0.1 that time the graph will be more smooth but we do not need it we'll let 0 0.5 colon 2 into pi 2 into pi pi means you know it already right pi the calculation of pi, the cal um, what is that? The um, what is that called? The MATLAB already know what is all, what is the value of pi. Okay, that is omega t. Yes. Now I'm going to write v is equal to v max cos omega t plus what? Plus zero degree, right? But zero degree means what? V theta. Understood? V theta. V theta. But there is a problem. The problem is. Here, the omega t is at radian, but v theta is at what? In what? In degree. degree. So we have to convert degree to radian, right? So deg to rad, degree to radian. Understood, everyone? What I have done here? Yes, sir. You I inter. Yeah, I convert it. See here, you can see in the book, they have uh, multiply with pi, divide by 180, but I'm not going to do that because we have a function called degree to radian. So I convert into degree to radian. This is our V. What is our I? I will be what? Again, I mag into cos into what? Omega T plus Plus or minus? It should be plus, but since it is, it is, uh, it is already having a minus in front of it, right? It is already having a minus because zero degree minus sixty degree will be minus in, uh, by default. So you have to write plus, but this will be minus. Okay? Understood? Yeah. Uh, it is already at a minus say because there is a minus in front of it already. So you do not have to give a minus because if you give a minus here, it will be minus minus become plus. So this will be the formula wise, this is plus, but inside there is a minus. So this will be degree to radian like this. Now our P, what is our P? V into what? I, right? V into I, right? Yes, sir. Our P will be what? It will see V into I. Okay. Yes. Uh, the inner matrix dimension must must not agree. Oh, there there should be a dot, right? Okay. 
is equal to v dot i. Now it's all right. There should be a dot. Why the dot? I do not know. I'm not sure. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, p q and sign. Okay, the, is there any p q? Uh, what are the things I have to draw? V T I T P T. Okay, fine. Then P R X. That means what? Q, right? That means Q and what? This is what? This is this is uh, this is P and this is Q. Real power and reactive power. Yes, sir. Okay, how to find out the real? Okay, real power is what? V I cos theta, and this is what? V I sin theta, right? What is theta? Yes, sir. Theta is the V angle minus I angle, right? Theta is equal to what? V theta minus I theta. Okay. Again, it is in degree. Remember. So your capital P. Will be what? V I cos theta. Now here is a problem. The problem is. The capital V we haven't actually introduced, right? Capital I we haven't introduced yet. These are the RMS value. This is the maximum value. That means the magnitude. This is the maximum value. That is the magnitude. But this one is RMS. That's why they have given a square root division, right? Can you see that? So we cannot write that yet. We have to give the V is equal to what? V let's call magnitude divided by Square root sqrt square root two. Do you know why why, why I have done this? <clears throat> because your RMS value, that means v RMS, will be what? V magnitude divided by root two, right? Right. Yes, sir. This should be the case. So we have to write it first because we haven't introduced that here. They have done it here like this, but we haven't done it. So we have to do it. Otherwise, we cannot get p and q. This is V. This is I equal to I mag divided by square root. Sorry, two. Done. Now our P is equal to V into I into cos theta. What is theta? Theta is this one division. But remember, we have to do degree to radian. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay. Okay, done. <clears throat> so our P is done. Now our Q. What is our Q? Do not copy with the semicolon. If you copy with the semicolon, it will go to the next line. So our Q will be what? Q is equal to V I sine theta, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sine, sine theta. That's it. Semicolon now. Do not copy with the semicolon because if you copy the semicolon, you cannot edit it anymore. You cannot edit. Okay. A Q is done. Now we have to find out um, the real power and the plotting. A lot of things. So let's go for the plot. So this is not needed. Subplot. We have to go for the subplot. Okay. Mm, average power pp we do not need it hmm. see subplot means you have to show the graph like this here you will have a voltage graph here you will have the current graph here you have the power graph here you have the uh, real power or reactive power graph something like that okay so this is called subplot one plot means you will it will show you one graph but subplot means it will go show you two, four graphs, something like that. So two, two, one means what? 
you have two lines, two column. That means these and these. Okay. So two to one means this one, this plot. Two to one. So here we are going to show the V. Okay. Got my point? Oh no. In subplot, they are going to show you voltage and current both. So here two to one we will show omega t, v, omega t, i, x t and x line. X line is the zero vector. So we have to use a zero vector. Otherwise it will not show and grid. Then the title will be like this. The title will be vm cos omega t, it is equal to cos omega t and something like that. X level, x, x level will be omega in degree. Okay. Second plot, that means this graph will be subplot 222. Okay. That means the two line, two column, second graph will be omega t p, omega t x line. Title will be power. Subplot 2 to 3 will be our real power. Subplot 2 to 4 will be our reactive power. That's it. Okay. This is how we should write the graph. This is also uh, very difficult to memorize. So I suggest you whenever you are going to do it, you do it by, by watching. Okay. So we have to go for the X line. So let's write X line. X line is equal to zeros. One to length. Length Omega T is done. X line. So we created a zero vector. Now the Omega T Omega T will be 180 divided by pi into Omega T. That means they actually convert into degree now. Okay. Before it was in theta, it was in radian. Now it is in degree. Or you can just actually write degree to radian. No problem. You can write, you can actually write like this radian to dig. Wait a second. Hello, I was muted and I am I was talking. So here we have given subplot two to one. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So subplot two to one means I'm going to have four graphs: one here, another here, another here, another here. So two to one means two line, two column, number one graph. That means this one. So here I'm going to plot omega t, v, omega t, i, omega t. X line, okay. X line is the zero vector. That means the this vector. X line. That means this line actually. 
So then, then I have given a grid. If I didn't, if I do not give the grid, then the grid will not happen. Okay. So this is our subplot one. Now next, next I'm going to give the, the title. I'm going to title. What is the title? T I T L E. Title means the namings. Okay. <coughs> V T equal to V M or V Mac, whatever you say, cause omega cause omega T. I T equal to I M cos omega t plus see number two string theta theta i number two, number two string means this is in number right so you have to make it in a string num to string i theta comma bracket Second bracket. Uh, something happened here. Did you mean title? That means I have given a. Okay. Yeah. So maybe a mistake is there. Okay. No problem. Mm. Sir, I think you forget a comma. Which comma? Which comma? Yeah, maybe this one. Yes. This one, yes. This comma I forgot. After this comma, there is a comma here, right? Uh, number testing, yes. I I forgot this one. This one. Now it's all right, right? <clears throat> okay, what happens here? So inside the title, <coughs> I have this one VT omega T, omega T plus, plus there, there will be a number. So that's why comma, that means I break that and then I ch um, change the number to the string I theta, I break that again, I continue. Got my point? See the minus 60, here is minus 60. So I'm going to, since there is a minus, so I'm going to, give i'm going to change these i'm going to change the plus because the plus is not needed here you can see there's a my omega t minus 60 okay so that is the title now i need to give the level x level x l a b e l level x level means what it will be written here what will be written here okay this one i know what will be written here? X level omega t degree. Now see what happens. See omega t, right? That means here it is written omega t degree. So our first plot is done. Now the second plot, subplot. Subplot two will be what? 
So I'm going to copy these, not the whole. So subplot two, 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 that means in the second plot will be our P, right? So omega T and P, nothing else. I do not, I do not have to show anything else. Like this, that means omega T P, omega T X line, this is grid. Now let's see what happens here. So you got a second graph, right? Can you see that? Okay. Now again, I have to give some title. What is the title I have to give? Uh, this one will be what? PT. PT will be VTIT. Bracket, no bracket needed, multiply IT. This is not needed. Now, this one done. So title, I have given the title here. Can you see that? PT, VT, IT. Now I have to give in the X level. See X level, omega T, W, right? Omega T in degree actually. Okay. Now again, I need to go for the subplot three. What is the subplot three? Two, two, three. So what I'm going to plot here, real power, right? What is our real power? What is our real power, real power, real power? This is our P, right? So omega T, it will be capital P. Omega T X line, this will be grid. So we are getting a second plot here. Okay, it is zero. What is our real power? P is equal to VI cos theta. Title. This one. X level. This one. Okay, no problem. Now next we are going to do the subplot two to four. It will be our Q, right? This will be the grid. It is also zero. Why zero? I'm going to explain later, no problem. Okay, so our graph is completed, right? Maybe we made some mistake somewhere else, else here. So, but you already know how to do it, right? So this is how you should, this is how you, you should what? This is how you should make graphs. Understood everyone? Yes, sir. So now <laughs> this graph you can import. Import means this graph you can save. How to save it? Save as or you can actually export, insert, uh, do anything, export. Pilot again. Uh, the wait for export setup, export. Okay, save as, let's say save as. Matlab figure, oh no, you can see here, JPEG, right? JPEG or bitmap. JPEG file, bitmap file, JPEG file. Okay, let's say JPEG file. Let's go to the desktop. Okay, let's say result one. These are your results, right? Result one, how you do it, save. So what is that? What is that? What is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Why? Why I have saved it? In the desktop. Yeah. So let's okay. This is your result. This result. Okay. This is JPEG. That's why the resolution is too bad, right? Can you see that? If I save these in bitmap. In bitmap. You will see, you will see a something, a bitmap has come. This bitmap, the resolution is good, right? 
Yes, sir. Resolution is better than previous one. This one, this one is good. Now, again, how good the bitmap file is, if you go to the Word file, <coughs> if you write a report, let's say result, you want to put the document here. So go and uh, insert that bitmap file. This, this, is the, this is the result. And if you insert the JPEG file, if I make it make a smaller one, if I make this smaller, you'll see which one is better, you think? The lower one or the upper one? Upper, upper one is one. better, right? That is the bitmap is better. JPEG better than bitmap bitmap is better. And one more one more hack. If you see the screen like this, your result will come out like this. If you make a zoom, zoom means if you make it bigger, your result will come out like this. Okay? Let's say bitmap two. If you save it like this, your result will come out like that. Okay? So if you zoom it, your result will be zoomed. If you zoom out, your result will be zoom out, zoomed out. Understood? Yes. So sir. if you need more uh, work, what? If you need more uh, graph, you zoom it. If you need more result, more result means the more text, you zoomed out. Zoomed out means, okay, let me show you something. Um, if you go here, this one. If you look at this, not this, not this paper actually. I'm going to this one great paper. Okay, 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 okay. This one. You look at this. Look at this paper here. Which one is important? This graph is important or the writing is writing is also important because if the graph is too small or the, if the graph is, uh, the, if the picture is too small, the later, that means the writings becomes too small as well, okay? Here, if you zoom, if you, if you make your picture bigger, if you then take a screenshot or then take a savings, then if you try to fit the graph here, what will happen, do you know? These writings will be very, very small to read. That time, what, is, what you can do? You can make your graph smaller so that the, your writings become comparatively bigger. That time, if you put it here, you can see, you can read the writings. Okay, let me give you one example. Okay, let's save this. Let's save it small, SMA. And let me make it bigger. big okay i'm going to write a document here let's say um let's say i have a i have two columns like this i have two columns okay now if i give the graph here this one is bigger one And this one, the smaller one. Both of them are same graph, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Both of them are yes. same graph. But, yes, sir. but if you print this, if you print this document, if you print this document, which one you think is more readable? Smaller one. The smaller one is more readable because you can read because because when you when you print it your thing will be smaller right that time that time uh, uh, it is not possible because you are going to print it right if you print it these writings cannot be read it right you cannot read it these writings cannot be read you cannot read this but you can read this so if you aim for printing make it smaller if you aim for uh, presentation, that means in the huge board or in the projector, make it bigger. So it depends on you. Okay? Got my point? 
So there's a few hacks. Nobody will uh, tell you about. I am telling it because I have, I have uh, what is that? Um, suffered a lot. Suffered. I suffered a lot to find out. Okay, I need to make it smaller to get a good result. Okay, because I found found out this thing by myself after two or three days of struggling. I struggle. Okay, how can I make the resolution bigger? How can I <coughs> make it more readable? I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Then one of a sudden when I make it smaller. I say, "Oh my God, this is the case." So, if you make it smaller, your result is more readable. Okay, this is uh, this is how you will do it in the MATLAB. So, I already told, um, I already showed you how to. I, I already shown you how to make graphs. Okay, so I believe all of you will practice. Remember one thing: by twelve semester, if you are very good in MATLAB. By 12 semester, if you are very good in MATLAB, you are a good engineer. Your four years was worth it. Okay, if you are good in MATLAB, if you are good in MATLAB, that means you have learned something in your fourth semester. Okay, remember this. Nobody, nobody will tell you about uh, about this thing. Nobody will tell you about this thing. But I am telling you, if you are good in MATLAB by 12 semester. You are already a good engineer, okay? So learn as much as possible. Now here, how do you think I learn rat to um, radian to degree function? How do I learn about degree to radian function? How do I learn? How do I learn that you have to give a semicolon? How do I learn you cannot copy with semicolon? Because I practiced a lot. So you have to practice a lot as well, okay? How do I know? Okay, if you do not, if you do not have this knowledge of today's class, can you understand anything about this subplot? Oh my God, what is subplot? Will you understand anything from here? Will you understand anything from here? No, not, not by a chance, not by a chance, okay? You will not understand anything from these codings if you read. But if you do, oh my God, subplot. Subplot means you have four, five figures. One, two, three, four, okay? Now, let me show you something else. Um, let me copy this. Sir. Okay, Bala. Sir, Mamun, sir, wait for this. Oh, I, I, I'm going to say, okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Sir.